time for level 73 hunter. There we go. I can now trap black chinchompers, which I'm probably going to do when I hit 80 still. I'm just going to stay here till 80 and then go to black chinchompers and just probably stay there till 99 really. So 960 chins in total. 73 hunter, 993k hunter XP, very close to 1 mil. Pretty awesome. 10 levels to go until I get the dragon imps. So, so yeah, here we go for 2 mil total XP. Totally forgot about that, but there we go. 2 mil total XP, most of it is in hunter. Got 1.3 mil for that, so yeah, nice. So yeah, a J mod is just, I mean, it must be a J mod. Just fires have spawned and so are these box traps. I have no idea. I wonder which J mod it is. I think it's Mod Reach. I don't know. I feel like it could be Mod Reach or Ronin. I'm not too sure. Or it could be any of them. I don't know. Okay, so finally, let's get 80 Hunter. I am 66 XP away from the level. Oh my god, let's get it. I've been here for so long now, but there we go. 80 Hunter. I can now set up five traps at a time, even though when I go to the wilderness, I can set up six traps, which is going to be awesome. Um, and there we go. My first level 80 which looks very, very nice. So I'm going to head over to the wilderness now, and for the last three levels of uh, the Hunter, I'm going to go catch Black Chin Chompers with the six traps and uh, smash that out. I think they're about 315 XP or something like that, so they're pretty good, and uh, I'm looking forward to actually catching them. Some guy there saying, if I've got eight Hunter, yes, I have. Just got it. Awesome. All right, let's go to the wilderness. Hopefully I won't die or anything, but yeah, 4,708 Chins as well. That is a lot. I'm going to save them for 80 ranged and then train on the monkey skeletons after I've done monkey badness. So, um, yeah. Okay, then, so I've just made it to the black chins uh, in level 34 wilderness. So, here they are down there. Um, and, yeah, let's put my traps down. So, I can use six traps. Obviously, usually at 80, you can only use five. But because I'm in the wilderness, it allows me to use an extra one. So, yeah, six traps. That is pretty awesome. Um, and they are 315 XP each. So... Hopefully, I'm not going to get PK'd, like, right now, I just have a bit of food, but I'm just planning to quickly log out if I see anyone, um, so I've got to keep my eyes peeled for that, but there we go for the sixth trap, looks pretty awesome there. So nice, because I went from four to six, pretty much, and 315 XP, but yeah, if I see anyone, um, I'll try and log out, if they get me, then I'm just going to have to try and eat up, and, well, I'll probably die, to be honest, but you never know, but yeah, I'm just going to catch these, and... When I hit like 100 chins, I'm probably just going to go bank them. Just keep doing that maybe. Just so I've got some. So I don't want to lose them all in case I do sort of AFK or, you know, do something silly. Um, so I don't lose them all. So, yeah. I'm just going to stay here till 83. I need to catch 3.5k of these. So that is a hell of a lot. But should be uh, pretty nice in terms of um, actually using them when I get my ranged up. Okay. So uh, I'm actually back at the red chins. Um, I didn't really enjoy the black chin chompers that much because... I kept getting PK'd and there's people logging in constantly and I was trying to run away, you know, losing my box traps. And I was just constantly panicking about just trying to catch the black chins and trying to just avoid PKs. And I just thought, it's probably just better if I just stay for red chins for the last three levels. As much as it's probably better XP doing the black chins. Well, actually, it probably isn't because after, like, if I ever do catch 100 black chins, I'm probably just going to run back to the bank and bank them anyway, just in case I do die, I don't want to lose them. Um... So, yeah, I just wanted to come back to the uh, the red chins here. And as you can see there, kapow. 81 hunter. Um, two more levels to go. So, yeah, I don't have to do too much work here. I'm just going to actually finish here. I've got the five box shots, which is nice. Are we going to catch one more? No. Good fight. Or maybe this one. Yes. Okay. Um, and, yeah, I've got to catch a fair few more chins, but it's not too bad. Uh, probably about 500k XP in total I need to do. But once I've done that, I can then finally start catching the dragon imps. So, yeah. I'm just going to continue here until I hit A3, really. Okay, so here we go for the big level. I'm just going to pick up this box trap. Are you ready for this? Kapow, 83 Hunter. He has done it. Look at that. I can now catch Dragon Implings. They look so nice. Oh, my God. I'm so happy about that. I'm finally done with these chin chombos. Look at that. All my traps are done as well. I have got a lot of chins now. I think I've got about 7K uh, in the bank. But, yeah. 83 Hunter, finally. I think it's taken me like two weeks. To be honest, I haven't actually been playing recently as much as I, I've used to um, because of work, but 83 Hunter, what can I say? I can now actually start hunting these Dragon Implings, even though I need to actually get some Impling Jars first, and I've got to make some of those, but that shouldn't be too hard, but very happy to find out the level and just get away from this place because it's so boring. I've done literally level 1 to 83 Hunter in one go, so it's quite... I don't know, I wouldn't say it's difficult. It just gets boring and you've just got to sort of get through it and i've done it now um 
let's run to the bank. I'm going to show you guys how many chins I've got now. I did catch some black chins, like I said. I didn't really enjoy hunting them because of the PKs, but I have now got 6,955 red chin chompers and 272 black chin chompers. So looking good, looking good. So yeah, I'm going to actually now make some impling jars and then finally start catching some dragon imps. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, so I'm going to go and try and get the impling jar generator. So I need to catch three... Essence to electric, I think. Oh, yeah, it says electric and one nature. So, yeah, let's do it. Off we go. All right, so let's go get this uh, jar generator. Nice, and it has uh, some charges on it. 100 charges, so I can now just go click on that, and it will make you an impling jar. I think it uses three charges, yeah, per time. And to recharge it, I need to get more implings. So, yeah, something like that. I'm not too sure, but nice. I'm going to now work on getting the... Magic butterfly net, which is three gourmet earth and one essence. Two earth for that one. Let's go do that one then. And now I've got all of the implings for the magic butterfly net. Confirm. There we go. Looks nice. Much better than that one. Cool. Can drop it and that. And what does this do? Toggle view. Meh. I'll keep it off to be honest. Can I destroy it? There we go. Nice. Let's go catch those dragon implings. Oh my god, Torstal Seed on the first nature impling. How lucky is that? How lucky is that? Wow. Mate, don't need dragon implings. Just gotta look for the nature implings. Here we go for our first magpie. What are we gonna get? Come on, please sound good. Way, good fight. And. Oh, a pineapple seed. Good fight, me. Alright, so I started catching some implings at Puro Puro, and um, I've not seen a dragon impling just yet, but I have seen a lot of magpie, ninja, and nature implings, which I've looted. And this is everything I've managed to get so far, and oh my god, is it good money, like, compared to what I was doing before with the steel plate bodies. Like, I got three rune, uh, three rune square shields, which I can high out, I got three rune warhammers, which I'm going to high out two of them and keep one for the um, hard clue scroll, because it's, it's like an item for the clue. Um, and you know I've got like five gold bars which is awesome I can make some rings of judings out of that and just just overall it's just so much easier to make money once you hit this I've got two dragon daggers as well which I'm probably gonna keep one and just high out the other for like 18k but got some mystic I'm wearing um, the mystic gloves right now it's just so much easier to make money compared to like the still plate so I'm really happy about that but yeah I'm gonna head back to um, Pure Pure I'm actually gonna probably buy some nature runes because um, I need to use it for snare I uh, used three per cast as well, which is quite a lot, but um, I can easily buy some from the shop. I could hire, like, not hire them, I could make some if I want, but again, I don't have glories just yet, so they're really annoying to make. Um, unless I use, like, I, I did get a nature tiara, so I could, like, use the pharaoh rings or something, but it's it's not that great, to be honest. So I'm just going to probably buy some, um, I'll hire up these, and then buy some natures with that, and then just go back, get some dragon implings, and hopefully get some good loot. So, yeah, hopefully in the next clip you'll see me with a dragon impling. Oh my god, there's a dragon impling. Look at that. That looks beautiful. And I did have to fail, didn't I, on the stun. Go get it, boys. If someone takes this now, I am going to be mad. Come on. Yes, we've got it. We've got our first dragon impling. Let's stay away from that guy. Let's loot it. What are we going to get? Magic seed. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Even though I can't really use it for like a long time, but one dragon impling, that's our first one. That looks so nice. So we got a second dragon impling right here. Let's go get it. Shout out to the person on my Twitch chat actually who told me. I am Xylox. Yes, first go. Look at that. It looks so nice. It really does. Come on, please be glories. Let's go. Oh he's done it! I'm no glories. I'm not of glories. Oh my god. Yes. I'm clapping. That's so cool. They're not charged, but I've got Amlo of glories. Free Amlo of glories. That is awesome. On oh, my second dragon impling, which means I'm done for now. <laughs> I'm done with hunting dragon imps. That is so lucky. That is so lucky. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So this is what the tab is looking like. I've got a couple of items which have gone into other tabs like in here. I've got like tour stools, Avento seeds. I'm actually going to start farming because I know I need to get that up and it's nice to sort of 
well, just start training it really, because it's one of those skills you kind of got to do as you do other skills, um, which means my herb law will go up, which would be cool. Um, what else have we got in this tab then? We have, well, just all the other loot. We've got the sinister keys, which I'm probably going to try and open. Um, I think you've got to go to a chest in by your nil or something. Hopefully I can get to the, the chest, because I think you need agility level or something like that. But uh, loot pass, two pass. I guess I could open it and get a dragon stone, dragon hide, some high alcohols in here so I can take these out. Um, I've got a rune chain, which is cool. Uh, rune claws. And I think they're all the high alcohols that I know of right now. So let's high alcohol them. Let's, uh, let's grab the fire staff. So we've got a dragon dagger. We've got 18k right there. The rune chain. Oh, hang on. Yes, alcohol. There we go. It's a lot. 48k. Kapow. Rune claws. Which I think was about 7k or something. Rune warhammer. And then another room, Warhammer. 105k. Put that there. Very nice. And I'm going to sort the rest of this out. I've got like snakeskin boots, which is cool. But yeah, what I'm going to do now then is, uh, well, work on 72 agility. I'm going to get it done all in one go. So I will have full graceful. I will be able to access Saradome and God, God Wars whenever I want to, which is not obviously going to be anytime soon. But when I do want to go there, then at least I've got the level. And well, I'm going for 72 mainly because of the... Uh, well, not mainly, but just because I can get through um, the shortcut in News Cave, which is a really helpful thing. So, yeah, I'm going to start on the agility, which is not going to be fun, but I'm just going to multitask and watch loads of movies. Okay, then, so there we go for 40 agility. I can now start using the Canopus course, which is where I'm going to go next, because I actually really like that course. Um, I prefer it much more than the Varrock one, just because it seems to be, well, it is better XP, and it just seems to be quicker to do the course because it's like much smaller so yeah i'm gonna head over there now and uh start using that course till level 50 that's what i'm planning to do is just do each um rooftop course um uh, until i unlock the next one so I'm gonna do sears village at 60 and then to the pole of each one at 70 but uh yeah 16 marks of grace so far i'm gonna go for the most expensive one which is the legs i think that's about 60 marks of grace but it's like minus 6.5 kg so it's gonna be pretty awesome when i get it plus it looks awesome as well so i'm gonna finish this lap and then head over to cannabis all right, so I just managed to get my first 60 marks of grace uh, from agility. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase the uh, graceful legs. Um, I'm going to actually not buy the boots or the cape because I've got the spot air cape and boots of lightness, which is actually better uh, than the graceful clothing, which is kind of strange, especially the boots of lightness because they're really easy to get. But um, I'm just going to be going for everything else pretty much. So I'm going to start with the best, and that is the graceful legs. They are actually the most expensive as well. So it's good to sort of get the, uh, the most expensive out of the way first. So let's buy them. There we go, it's done it. And let's put them on. They look really nice as well. So look, minus 13 kg. They look awesome, that is great. And uh, I'm next gonna go for the top and then probably the, the hood. Yeah, really happy to get that. And uh, just an update on the agility. I'm now level 46 with 5.2k to 47. So yeah, there we go for the graceful legs. So here we go for 50. There we go, I can start the Falador course, which I'm gonna go over to now just to see what it's like, but if it's not very good because I've heard it's not the best, I might come back to Canopus and just continue here for a little bit longer. But yeah, 50 agility and I've got 36 marks of grace. So not bad. 52 agility um, means I can now start the wilderness agility course, which is actually what I'm going to go ahead and do now. Uh, but not just yet, actually, because I'm going to finish the uh, 55 marks of grace so I can get the top. But I'm going to go to the woody course because this course just seems to be quite slow and uh, the woody course is meant to be better XP. So I'm just going to head over there for like eight more levels and then go back to Sears and just continue through there really because yeah the this course here it's just not too great but i'm gonna gonna get the top and then i'm gonna bank it i'm not gonna take it to the woody course just too big of a risk uh but yeah get the next few levels and then head over to sears so we have the 55 marks of grace and 52 agility 2.9k to 53 and i can now purchase the top which is gonna be awesome so there we go let's put it on and i'm now starting to look like a badass that looks really nice i love this outfit yeah, sweet. I'm going to head to the wilderness now. Not going to take this, but sweet. Look at that. That's, what's my weight reduction? Minus 20. That's really cool. Okay, so here we go for 60 agility. I have finally completed this part of uh, training at the wilderness studies course. It wasn't... I mean, the XP was good, but I kept failing so many times. It was annoying. I just about survived. Ran out of cakes, but there we go. 60 agility. I can now start, uh, well, the series village agility course, and I can now access... Godor's Dungeon via the agility route, which is pretty awesome. I thought you had to have 70, but then again, that's for Saradomen. So, yeah, pretty cool. Um, 
And yeah, six agility. It's kind of strange that I'm training like two difficult skills, hunter and agility. But yeah, there we go for that. Uh, I'm going to go to Sears now and train there till level 70. And I should be able to get the graceful mask as well from all the marks of grace. So yeah, let's go. All right, then. So I just managed to get the last amount of marks of grace I need for the final piece, which is the mask or the graceful hood. Let's buy one and let's put it on. So there we go. Okay, so I made a complete mess out of all of this graceful thing I'm trying to do, but it turns out actually if you have the full set of it, your energy restores 30% faster. So that's really good because it gives you the incentive to actually try and get all of the pieces. So I've, I've actually managed to get 110 marks of grace now, so I can actually buy uh, the three remaining pieces, which is the graceful cape, uh, the graceful gloves, and the graceful boots. There we go. So now let's put it all on. This is the full set. My run energy will significantly speed up with uh, restoring, so 30% faster. It looks nice, it does look nice, so I'm happy to have the full set now. I'm just gonna continue with the agility. I am now level 69, 59K to go, and everything is looking really good right now. So I'm gonna head back to the Sears course, smash out 70, and head to Pornham Beach for the last two levels.